Is the new IFB Steven Anderson cult falling apart? Absolutely. This video was put up by Steven Anderson. Uh, apparently two more pastors have deflected out of this new IFB system. And apparently according to Anderson, they basically were going behind his back and talking bad about him. And, and one of them was even making videos behind Anderson's back while pretending to be his friend. It's crazy. This is what happens. I mean, let me show you a verse of scripture real quick. Matthew chapter 12, verse 25. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Verse 26. And as Satan cast out Satan, uh, he is divided against himself. How then, sh or how shall then his kingdom stand? See, the new IFP is a house that's divided against itself. It can't stand. Uh, let's, let's watch this real quick. It's ridiculous, okay, to, to call that ecumenicalism. But anyway, that's what these guys are saying about me and accusing me of. And uh, the, the, the guys that I'm talking about, let me just come out and say this, you know, before I go any further. I'm talking about Pastor Michael Johnson and Pastor Manley Perry. Now, I wanna say this, Pastor Joe Major has also accused me and called me ecumenical but I don't have any evidence of him going behind my back or anything. I mean, he actually came directly to me and talked to me about this. And, and so I'm not accusing him of any kind of, um, you know, um, behind my back, backstabbing. I'm not saying he's a bad person. You know, I love him, God bless him. Uh, I don't have anything uh, bad to say about him except for the fact that, you know, calling me ecumenical is a false accusation. But Manly Perry and Michael Johnson have been doing this behind my back for a very long time, okay? I have multiple people contact me, multiple witnesses tell me that they have gone behind my back. You know, Manly Perry already broke fellowship with me months ago, but even before that, he was going around and talking to pastors behind my back, just nitpicking me, telling them everything that was wrong with me, all while pretending to be my friend. And, and, and look, Manly Perry's the biggest hypocritical flatterer. He preached a sermon called Why I'm an Andersonite, which is a stupid sermon. Why would anyone pronounce themselves to be an Andersonite? Yeah, that sermon Why I'm an Andersonite was pretty cultic. I mean, even Stephen Anderson sees that that sermon was just very, very cultic and, and just weird. Anyway, let's digress. Especially in light of the fact that he's going around behind my back talking bad about me. Okay, that's super weird. Okay, we're not Andersonites, we're Christians, we're Baptists. And you know what? This is not some weirdo cult where we can only be friends with people that are part of our movement or whatever. I can be friends with whoever I want. I can be friends with pastors from the old IFB, and if I... Mm, sorry about that. But again, you know, this whole new IFB system, it's a house divided against itself. It cannot stand. You know, uh, proof that new IFB is, you know, what Jesus was kind of describing in Matthew 20 or Matthew 12 verse 25 26 and this next video where apparently Michael Johnson was actually creating videos against Stephen Anderson and had a secret anonymous YouTube account it's crazy that's Stephen Anderson here from Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe Arizona so I was sent today some unlisted YouTube videos from an anonymous YouTube channel called till the stars fall do right and these videos are attacking me. Pastor Anderson's wrong. And they uh, have like 160 views on that video, but it's unlisted. So you, know, you can't find these by searching YouTube. And if you even click on this channel, it shows no content, no videos, because everything's unlisted. The channel's anonymous. These secret anonymous <laughs> unlisted videos have been passed around to attack me. And I found out that the person behind the channel, the person who created the channel, made the videos and uploaded them, is Pastor Michael Johnson from Temple Baptist Church in Jacksonville, North Carolina. What a coward when he has been nothing but friendly and nice to me to my face. Every interaction I've had with him, he was very friendly, very nice. He's never been uh, rude to me or anything. And pretending to be my friend, posing as my friend, he came out and participated in a camping trip with us this summer in August with a bunch of our pastor friends and everything. And here he is with an anonymous YouTube channel attacking me behind my back. Uh, you know, I guess he didn't want to do it publicly, so he's just going to do it privately to 160 people. And I've already been contacted by nine people so far 
that have said, yeah, Pastor Johnson contacted me specifically to talk crap about you. Pastor Aaron Thompson told me that, Pastor McMurtry, Pastor David Burzins, Pastor Rocky Randall. Also, just several laymen have contacted me and said, I don't even know why he was talking to me about it. It was really weird because I'm nobody, but yeah, he contacted me about it. My filmmaker buddy, Peter Redock in New Mexico was contacted repeatedly by Pastor Johnson railing on me, his words, okay? So what kind of a coward creates an anonymous YouTube channel? Hey, at least the things I have to say, I put them out there publicly and I put my name on it. Yeah, the things you have to say are just gonna make Christians look bad. And the things you have to say are just crazy. I mean, he, he uses profanity and you know, and it, it's just ridiculous. I mean, there's a video I saw of him actually defending his use of profanity. I mean, it's ridiculous. So, I mean, talk about the things he has to say. Uh, it's ridiculous. But again, just proving the new IFB is a fulfillment of Matthew 12, verse 25, 26. You know, it's ridiculous. You know, and the thing is, is that I used to be part of this new IFB system, but I left because of a lot of, of errors they have. I mean, they're non dispensational, they're anti dispensational, they're post trib, they're, they're you know, they, they believe in this, this polytheistic pagan trinity. They've got so many problems. Uh, you know, they, they, they don't believe in, in repentance or anything like that, or, or, you know, they believe in a warped version of repentance. It's crazy. So don't be deceived by this new IFB cult. God bless you. Goodbye.